and we are in this thing. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Captain Trips. I am a variety content creator on Twitch, on YouTube. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Fable. You can find me on Letterboxd. <laughs> I'm a couple different places. You can find me on Medium. You can find me on the Blacklist. You can find me a couple different places. Um, thank you all for coming through today. Uh, today, we are continuing our Amer All-American Gridiron series with uh, EA Sports College Football 25. Um, it's a series in which we run a couple games in the Dynasty mode and a couple things in the Road to Glory mode uh, with two characters that we created here on the stream. Um, we've got Coach Brick, who is leading the Kennesaw State Owls um, out of obscurity in Conference USA. Uh, the second season started last week. He has a very gifted halfback. He has a better quarterback than he did originally. So we've got a lot of um, a lot of blue space for the Kennesaw State Owls to rise up. And they do give a hoot, as they say. Um, on the Road to Glory side, we have a, a very talented improvising quarterback by the name of Vontae, who um, is just now getting an opportunity to start at Wisconsin. The issue he's having is their offensive line is ass. So with it being Vontae just now getting to start at playing, he's a little rusty after a year off pretty much. The offensive line is trash. There could be trouble, but hopefully we can figure that out today. Um, so, yeah, thank you for tuning in. That's what we've got going on today with this newest episode of All American Gridiron. So we'll be here from now until around noon or so uh, getting all the kinks worked out. But with that being said, um, yeah, I think we should go ahead and, and get into these games. Um, you know, college football, we got until around noon is when we usually end this stream. And I want to get back to a space where Coach Brick and Vontae are, are progressing through the season at the same pace. Um, not to say that Wisconsin is definitely going to make the playoffs or anything, but Coach Brick, there is a possibility. There is a possibility. So we're going to get started with the, the game here. Let me turn my things on. But either or, we, we're here now. We're with Vontae. Um week three of the season so let's get this practice um, pop all right we was almost there at silver we wouldn't have got sacked i feel, feel like we would have got silver at least but it's fine i'll take that that's a lot better than nothing no coach trust earned all right so our starter place is not in question right now our backup is nowhere near trying to beat us damn north carolina lost to charlotte that's crazy okay all right we gonna study i'm gonna do studying twice right now because that exam is five weeks out i would like to be prepared this is where we are at the starter, 6,500. Our backup has a 200. So again, not really in risk of any issues there. But we playing Alabama at Alabama. This is gonna be hellacious. This is gonna be hellacious. I don't have very high expectations. Let's do it. Vontae, I believe in you, man. I just need bro to be like scrambling a little bit better. But Dio was right last week. He said I like to run a lot. I just be trying to buy some time. Home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. What a matchup we have in store. It's still early in the season, but this is a major test for a couple of squads who've gotten out of the gate undefeated. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Wisconsin Badgers, taking on the 19th ranked team in the land, the Alabama. 
Alabama Crimson Tide. 48 Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. All right, let's see what happens. Time to get it going. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Man, so with that being said, our receivers are going to be shaky. From the shot you better run. The gift. You better run. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Look. Vontae got ice already. They say he's shaky already. This is probably the, the worst environment he's ever played in. From the gun, the running back looking for room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. All right, let's go. To the air, it's Hubbard. Bro, that was an has he beating you on the route? Off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near kick on your opening drive. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Y'all scary, bro. Y'all need y'all to fucking clock in. He's looking to throw. Damn. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And this defense gets the first sack. And listen, it is so important. That shit is crazy, bro. By the time somebody even got open, these niggas was like, nah. They got to continue to put pressure and get that guy to the ground. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. They already scored. That's crazy as fuck. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. Got it in the middle. It's Henry. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. He we should go for that. We should go for that. That's entirely insane. It's three yards, bro. The Wisconsin offense will come back. Really? And jump around a bit. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. Safety. That's fucking nuts, bro. That's fucking crazy, bro. This line fucking sucks. I take responsibility for my shit. This line fucking sucks, bro. This line fucking sucks. The drive starts from their own 25 yard line. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Missed receiver there. It's incomplete. It's going to be a long season for Monte, man. I'm actually kind of quite not looking forward to it. I think I might Let's get in that transfer. Back to pass, it's Hubbard. Moves away as he feels pressure. There ain't shit I can do about that. He's slow. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that. Why are we fucking running with six? Come on, coach. This don't make any sense, bro. This actually doesn't make any sense. the run it's Zacker. oh it gives him the tough that's spot. what you wanted coach the defense gonna stop the that's what you want the out they want to make sure uh, they everybody on the this same is bad page. bro that's a great individual play and i love cornerbacks that don't they have 12 oh and with time running out here in the first half this offense will choose to take that's a crazy man at the end of the second quarter yeah i need to leave this Kevin school and our halftime update mm. fellas you've been calling a great one today negative three rushing yards Tuscaloosa. that's on me and it's been said football is a game of inches and guess what 
based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team I mean, one pass. when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that said... We got a nut up. We got a nut up. Come on, Vontae. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions. The coaching staff met in at halftime. They've probably scripted this opening drive, just like they do at the start of the game. They've now got an idea of what plays they feel most confident in, what plays their quarterback is seeing the best to go out here and execute a score. Well, and it's nice to get the ball first. Like, I got the first opportunity to close the gap a little bit, apply some great game pressure to these guys. So I think getting the ball first, driving down, scoring right here would be huge. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the we defense. We don't have time to, to like right play around, so we need to get down together. Power football with the run. Up the middle, you think and that's going to work against Alabama right now, bro? Game. SEC versus the Big Ten. They competed everything. They tried to outspend each other, and they certainly want to beat each other on the field. So many national. So y'all not hearing this audible? So I call. Trophy winners shared between these two conferences, David. Everybody gets excited when the Big Ten takes on the SEC. And these right. games matter so, so much. The fans oh get man. so amped up, so juiced up to the point where we hear in the stands, "What? SEC? SEC?" They wouldn't say that if conference pride wasn't a real thing. Looking to throw, it's Hubbard. Right down the middle. It's complete. I'll be having to hurry up Just and get that shit off. The red zone as they pick up the first down, but also, the that was scary because it was like the two niggas standing the there. Line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Anthony. Well, when you're running the drag route against mid coverage like that, all right, that, come on, that better play calling. I'm enjoying it, coach. Let's go. Let's go. Let's churn this shit. Then advance the football up the field, pick up a first down like they did right there. They're going back to the ground. And like Vontae don't even be quick to do like run up the field to block something. Kia Kanuka, I need you here. I need you, Kia Kanuka. He's right on target. And the Badgers get enough to move the chains. Insert. That's what I'm talking about, Vontae. Hey, fucking shake that shit off. Don't run up that fucking middle, bro. Gonna run it. It's accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I'll take that shit. Come on, bro. Somewhere. Somewhere. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed in the middle. It's Williams. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man to man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get them the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first. Go, go, go. Give to the running back. Makes the tackle at the 23 yard line. the fuck I'm talking about. Any way we can get this, I don't care if I'm passing. Touchdowns. Let's go. I would like to win. The give to the back. Yeah. Yeah. Got some room. Head to the goal line. Touchdown, Badger. And that one will put him up here in the second half. In the end zone. Man, we know football gets harder when you start to get in the red zone and the field shrinks. Who needs that? Break the long touchdown run. Nice job. By Come the on. Seeing That's the what I'm talking about. Through, getting the long if there's a will, there's a way. Are we going for two? 
that's that's how confident y'all feel right now wants to throw it's Hubbard he's got it for the two-point conversion let's go quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive Whew. and the house call coming on the run from the 23 come on coach that's all the trust I get that's crazy it's kind of crazy and Wisconsin has its offense back it's kind of crazy field. coach Shit. He leaves it with his back. It's like the way he was up on the, the line real quick. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. And now we start thinking about clock control. It's just a, a field goal in between us, but we want to make sure we're doing the right things. <laughs> Excuse me. End off from the gun. Nice move to keep running. Damn, not you he getting tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. I, I, I would not like to it's run the option. I'll uh, be honest with you. I don't think this is really the right team to be running the option on. Line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fuck. And the heat gets there. 87, what are you doing? They'll try to find a more productive play this time on second and long from the 14. Man, this shit is ass, bro. They move the tight end all over. He's back to throw on second down. That's what I'm talking about. It's Henry. That's what I'm talking about, bro. 36 yard line, and they'll move the chain. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Hey, 77, the, the runner's coming right next to you, bro. I need you to, like, block him. Looking to throw, it's Hubbard. Using his legs, keeping his eyes down. Come on, Vontae. Run, Vontae. Run. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally. That nigga running like stop. Russell Wilson right now, boy. <laughs> that is actually the perfect, like, comparison. He is not quick. He is not quick at all. We need to score badly. We got to keep drives alive like this. Wonderful job. Movement here from the tight end. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Over the middle. Boy, that shit was a little scary. Sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. All right, we got to get this before this uh, two-minute warning. With a fresh set of downs, they'll run it to keep the clock moving. We'll give him a couple. Really, bro? <laughs> really, dog. The two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. We've done this play a couple times now, coach. Looking that shit is not like fooling field. nobody, bro. He is knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. On third and long, he's going to have Fuck. to throw for it. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. <sighs> well, they didn't let him get loose for a big return, but he still made God a big damn, play. man. Take over at the seventh. You already have the lead. Oh, we got it right back. Always good, That's no fucking nuts. You were wide open over the middle, bro. Turning to the running you were wide open over goal. the middle, bro. They that pisses me off so bad. Man, fuck you, coach. Whack-ass play calls. Now it's second and goal. 
Tries again to get it in. They're gonna stuff that middle every fucking time. What are we doing? Run past, man, get the fuck out of here, dog. Get the fuck out of here, man. They'd love to make this short field payoff with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is third and goal. Really? Dropping back, it's Hubbard. Going for six. And it's taken away by the defense, and they desperately needed that turnover. <sighs> Lord, bro. I, Lord, bro. It, it's all on me, man. This is horrible quarterback play upon me. And they fucking won the game. That's nuts. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. And they're going to have to fight this defense, and they're also up against it with time, Jesse. Yeah, no doubt, Reese. And this he wants to go deep. He just about put this game away if he'd been able to hold on to that one. Instead, it's second down. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. On second down, wants to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's flight. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Looking to move it through the air. A deep throw as the clock Bro. winds down. Go on. What's up, Heal? You know How we doing, man? Really? This is the what you got for me, bro? This is what you... Man, I got to leave this school, bro. I'm entering the portal like a motherfucker, man. This shit sucks. This shit sucks. Ugh. And y'all are getting the wrong fucking plays. Right back up top on second and ten. And it's picked off for the third. Whatever, man. Whatever. Pick six. Take it in. And they capitalize not That's crazy, bro. on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. When you're down. You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to be that's what happened out there today. Yeah, just yeah that was 1,000% on me. Team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented <sighs> players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now I didn't want to take that sack, bro. Taking that sack would have been horrible. But I threw a fucking third pick. Early and trying to find that in their next game, I think would go along. I can't yeah, believe it, bro. Just finding a couple of those plays. What what do I do really really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these negative plays. Let's take away these turnovers. I, How do we create more? Turnovers? I'll be honest with y'all. I really am kind of regretting making Vontae an improviser rather than a scrambler, um, because at least the scrambler would have been quick enough to get some some things going. Right now, he's not quick enough to do anything, and it's just it's gonna hurt us extremely bad. I want to criticize the coach on social media. That shit sucks. You're at work hiding. Don't hire for too long. They're going to be looking for you. Man, we can get past that. We can get past that. This shit sucks, bro. They're not running their routes neither. <laughs> okay, whatever, man. Um, yeah, I'll take that on the chin, man. It, it's my fault. That game performance was my fault. Maybe we can do better against Michigan, but Welcome to Ann Arbor and the Big House, home to one of the most
most storied programs in college football. I know exactly what happened. And I remember when it happened, I got a little cocky off of just the ability to be like, all right, it can't be that difficult. Nah, man, these de defenses are hellacious. Hellacious. I can't have that for Vontae, man. Like, <laughs> I contemplated during that Alabama game, like, what if we just created a whole new player? What if we just did something else? What if, what if we just, what if we just went another route? Yeah, I restarted the game, man. Fuck that shit. Like, just leave Vontae to be. It's not even his fault. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. Trying to find his man on first down. And the out dropping pass. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. This new Big Ten is balanced and deep, and you're not going to get many mulligans. You're going to need to get off to a quick start. And it's going to be a physical grind ahead. You look at the schedule for these teams, it's brutal. Each and every week, you are going to get tested. So it's important they get off to a really fast start. They've got to come out, take everything they did on the Y'all are fucking killing me, bro. And let these guys go play. Yeah, and you gotta let it rip, man, because that, that's always your first goal, right? We talk about conference championships, winning your conference, and then it, it gets you to where you need to go. So looking forward to getting confident. Come on, man. Like, really, bro? It's 12 people over that. Short, but this defense was there to make the stop. Well, this is a defense that... No, I'm not doing no option. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No hey, man. Are y'all kidding me, bro? Really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Throwing right. It's caught. He's right out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That's a good-looking throw, and I know when we talk Wisconsin offense, we're always talking about running backs, but they've seen their fair share of QBs, too. Darren Bevel back in my day. Scott Tolzien had some success, and then, of course, Russell Wilson also. This guy right now in this game, he needs to get himself into a rhythm, and if he gets there, he's dangerous. Sort of getting in touch with their inner James White, Melvin Gordon, or Jonathan Taylor to pick up another first down. I mean, it's just crazy the list of guys they've had play here in the Wisconsin tradition, and it continues, right? Everybody come on, come on, come on. To be featured. Let's go. Get touches. So, hey, recruits, you want to you carry the football a lot? Come to Wisconsin. And the Badgers will line it up on first and ten. Need that, man. Need something, bro. Give to the back. They make We're going to do one more game with Vontae, too. I mean, because he's a quiet person. I feel like these days we don't really know things are happening until... <sighs> Bro, I don't even know how to do this. In the red area, it's Acker. To the ground after he's quiet the he doesn't down. cause any issues is this really the options y'all are giving me coach I just, I just want to get the first down understanding the situation understanding where the sticks are doesn't have to be sexy but i gotta make sure i get to that stick get to the first down mark running back searching for a hole good pick up on that play it'll bring up second and four it's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push and just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. From the gun, running back gets to give. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium? Hey, I'm good with that. So you run the... And he rolls into the house. The defense knew coming into this game. Fuck y'all. All right, get your little gritty off. Don't get too cocky, man. I'm still mad at you about that Alabama game, bro. They didn't have an answer for him right there. On 
And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Going up top on first down. Moves around to clear up the vision. Trying to make magic with his feet. Afterburner's coming. No, oh, we got loose. They finally corralled Come on, Vontae. And he turns that into a big gain and a first down. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane open or you don't... Man, y'all get off my way, dick. Uh, yeah, I'm pissed. The they was just talking so off, much shit about me. Very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back like ability. No, he doesn't. He's slow. He run like Mooding. Now a first down from the 45 yard line. Back to throw. It's Hubbard. Looking down the middle. You better fucking hold on to that ball. And he was loose and in the right, open Nitz. field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Nice confidence by the QB. Good throw. I just wish they were the like better. I need levels. Especially we're this close. Why are we sending people high and wide? Like that I think that is kind of dumb, but okay. Nice job attacking. From the red zone, looking for a space. And he's got it. Touchdown, Badger. Man, that is so good. There's not a lot of room to work over there on the sideline in the end zone, but he was able to control his body, catch the football, make sure he had a foot down inbounds. It doesn't get any better. Yeah, I'm than glad that. I got some verticality on that ball. Boom. Okay. And so they show you the toes, but obviously there's hella things in the way they can't see it. So shut y'all asses up. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Give to the running back. Yeah. At the 40, there he goes. And he was. Vontae, you weren't able to catch nobody to block? And on his way, a tremendous pickup on that one. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle as opposed to linebackers and big defensive players. You get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. Looking to pass, it's Hubbard. Here he goes breaking the pocket. Mm. It's incomplete. Mm. He was shooting for the end zone right mm. there. Boy, that was really stupid. The sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. I just wish I was able to get like some kind of like, hey bro, do y'all know the routes that y'all supposed to be running? Cause fuck. They are not acting like it. They are not acting like it. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB Fuck you, and a Michigan. receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns. Your name is Tretch? Well, the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because... I don't even like that nigga. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's going to fire deep. Makes the grab on the left side. He's Gone. Loose. Gone. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Gone. Badger. Where's my water? 
number. This is like a baseball pitcher that he can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. Yeah, it just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making... Excellent field position here for the offense. And I don't want to hear that. Vontae, you're our hero shit after this week, man. Fuck y'all, Wisconsin. Y'all treated me so bad. Y'all treated me so bad. It's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Hand off to the single back. Where are you going? Much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. A third down try for the offense. Mike, I don't know where the fuck he thought he was going. To the air. It's Hubbard. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the Just two. barely. Big play in the passing game. Why would this be a thing that we do? It's a coordinators out there in a similar situation with a lead like this. Uh, they'd definitely be running the ball at this point. Uh, they'd probably take their starting quarterback out of the game potentially, but not this unit. They are still staying aggressive. They're still taking shots. They're just trying to light up the score. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Fuck y'all. They extend the lead here in the fourth, and after stumbling early, about to push their record to three and one. We didn't Offense stumble. We just got our ass beat by <laughs> Alabama. Like, come on. Let's stop pretending Alabama ain't Alabama. I, I made that mistake last week. I was talking Offense shit to Prez, and then the jump what happened happened last weekend. We don't even talk, need to talk about it. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. That's got to be demoralizing. No, I would like to throw the, the ball, defense. please. You're trailing. You need to get the ball back. you got to get off the field, but you can't stop the run when they're going between the tackles. This defense is going to have to get a lot more physical, especially in the middle. Off play action on first down. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. They'll give it to the back. That's what yeah, you bro, you're not doing senior. what you think you are. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. Boy, look at the way that they're positioned. They'll try to run for it. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. These situations are preached so much in college football. Finishing a game strong, understanding circumstances, they are running the football right at you, trying to keep that clock moving, get a few first downs, and get a W. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. Touchdown, Badger! And the pummeling. They hit the fuck out of that boy. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. 
Well, how about this one? A fun one. These guys came in as underdogs and they walk out. Is that, did that nigga say what? Yeah, they were unranked. That's not what they were worried about. Oh, this team's ranked. They were looking at me different. They were looking to come in. Oh, 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 oh. Now you're on my dick. Believing they could come, Jesse, and knock them off. Vontae, yeah, you right, need to believe in yourself, brother. something to prove. And they knew they had a national audience that was going to be paying attention to this game. What a great job going out under the lights. Big time stage against a ranked opponent and really putting their A game out there on the field. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College. I feel like I want one more with Vontae, but I feel like probably not, but maybe one more with Vontae. I like, I like the, the direction that that swung versus the one last week so i don't know if that does anything for us other than brings us one and oh in conference play your test grade you crushed it nice job oh and i want to remind you about midterms in a month there on week eight don't forget all right we'll take that gpa increase i need for that to matter when it comes down to like actually doing well in school nah fans nah fans y'all was just talking shit because we got beat by alabama and it's a bye week of course it's a fucking bye week but i want to play one more week with them that's crazy bro i can't ever get in any groove it's always something going on it feels like I'll take that. I wanted that gold, though. I wanted that gold. All right. With where we have to catch up with Coach Brick, I'm not going to advance the week. We're just going to save after we do the weekly, um, our weekly agenda. Tay will be playing a lot better in the future because I want him to nut up, man. I want him to be able to progress as a player um, and really lock into being what I what not comparing him to Russell Wilson, comparing Russell Wilson to a fake him. There are only so many things you can do with some of these recruits, and I want to stay at the top of their board so we can do what we need to do. Um, some of these are not going to be great players but this is Kennesaw Give my DM back. <laughs> Thank you. 
we at least want to get on his radar. So I'm cool with that. Let's progress. Florida, yeah, I am. And they don't be giving us hours like I want, bro. Like, what am I supposed to do about this? I'm not getting the hours I need. How am I supposed to do, to do heavy recruiting? Coach Brick, we need we need to get some upgrades in your boy. And the best way I know how to do that is to be, smack the fuck out of Florida, which I don't have an issue doing anyway, because fuck Florida. Do they have any um alt jerseys? Okay, gold helmet. See, look, where was that? them well, on par with where Vontae is um, windshield, and they did so this is one of three I think dominated. that they got we got to do with them I gotta give the coaching staff a ton of credit they obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick all three phases we saw just spectacular football no mental mistakes David you really can't play better than that. Nah, it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're going to do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Whooping ass. Foot to ass. Let's go. We need one more point. That's that's how you're gonna do me. All right, bet. Let's progress. Hopefully, I get that one point, right? another bye week bruh that shit is actually insane so a bye week is a week where you don't play a game you just kind of progress through what you need to for um like planning, they do practices, they do everything but play a game on Saturday.
I feel like I'm not getting enough recruiting hours, and that's the issue for me. Um, especially because he's not progressing. Coach Brick, I need to get more of my points. Recruiting is just going to be hard for this school. I have to just come to that conclusion. Um, there are going to be people I miss out on because we don't have the hours. Sorry, Nico. Really wanted you to be here, brother, but Victor, you can go fuck off yourself. Um, We don't know enough about him, but I do want to offer him a scholarship at least. Hopefully we can get some of these other players in here. Hakeem Oluwatimi. I have so many other players that I need to kind of look into and invest in. Those are the hours we got. All right, so we home today. Y'all know it's gonna be black jerseys. Let's do gold pants. Give him, give him a little bit of swagger. Damn, I, I clicked, I said, play full game, and y'all already know that's not how we get down here. <laughs> Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta Ooh. area, and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a team looking for its first win, the Sharks, taking on the 12th ranked team in the land. The they Kansas just don't play anybody, bro. Like, glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Uh, there should not even be a conversation about anybody else being the, the national the player of the but week. At the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made Look the plays that. they needed to make in order to get this Look at win. That. I thought the quarterback crazy. showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward, but ultimately they were the better team today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Yep, give me that level up. I need that. So this is about Coach Brick and the development of those players, right? Um, let's go ahead and... Damn, this was week five? We slick ran through everything really quickly today, man.
Ja, yeah, aha. Huh? Not even a discussion. Put him at the top of the Heisman list and everything. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade the coaching skills here. I ain't gonna lie, it might be time. Oh, we couldn't even do this if you wanted to, huh? That's crazy. We can't do talent developer or architect unless we do motivator. I wish I would have known that from the jump. All right, let's just focus on what we got then. So I'm a save. Um, right now, I feel like we're done early. We're in week six with Coach Brick. Um, let me just check Vonte one more time, make sure we're in week six with them. Okay, nah, go. Th we gotta advance through the week, but then yeah. They're on par, so yeah. Plus five carrying for the upcoming game. Okay, Vontae, that means you gotta go off then, bro. We did really well with that one, man. Okay. I just got to get to that spot. And that's actually kind of how I be quarterbacking. I, let me move from the pocket. Get somewhere situated. All right. Um, we took two energy. We got exams in two weeks, though. because there were so many bye weeks that we contributed to in both I'm gonna just go ahead and do it
Welcome to Bloomington, Indiana, home of the Hoosiers. We expect Memorial Stadium to be rocking because these fans have been getting ready since early this morning. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Wisconsin Badgers, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Indiana Hoosiers. 48 sports nah, they're going to lose this week. I'm actually quite sure of it. All right, so keep in mind, I've got plus five carrying. First down here for the offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. On the move, he Fuck. fires. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Trying to escape and get it himself. Ball is loose. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Come on, Vontae, it's bro. This game. It's making the football Come on, Vontae. I don't want to run the ball. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Fuck that. Ball till we fall. Wants to throw one first down. Fires to the middle. Pulls it in. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Just nosing into enemy territory at the 49. It's first and 10. The run from the shotgun. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Back to throw. It's Hubbard. Fires to the tight end. I need you to get up, though. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And it's incomplete despite some Ugh. serious arm strength shown there. I'll be trying to zip the ball to them, and they're not ready. They're not ready. Looking for a productive I got to preach more patience with, when it comes down to Vontae and everything he has going on. From the gun, the running back has it. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. We can't keep just running him. the ball, bro. Like my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited. The fans aren't going crazy. But those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. I think to be a good third down offense, guys, you've got to be able to run the football. You're going to come upon these third and short situations multiple times throughout the course of the year, but you've got to be able to get push up front, and it helps when you have a talent like that to turn around and the football off. Oh, Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Unloads to the wide out. Catch in the middle. It's Henry. Just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 22. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Hey, bro, offense you here? I need you to block because you fucking suck. He's not, he cannot hear. 
that he's supposed to block. That's crazy as fuck. Right down the middle. It's caught downfield. Stop at the three, no. but it'll be enough. No, I'm not giving him this option to like by the wide receiver on that play because you I'm can't block, sure but you're supposed to be the man. Eh, fuck out of here, bro. You gotta wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. He wants to throw it again. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock ticking. He's looking to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown. If it's got to be it's on me, it's going to be on me. Fuck that. First down here for the offense. He wants to throw. Quarterback floating away from pressure. And incomplete on the deep ball. It is a valuable tool to have a quarterback that can extend a play Why would you like not that. turn around? But sometimes you're smart to be checked down Charlie and just take something easy and not invite disaster. Because when you roll out, you're rolling out, you're cutting. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And that pass is caught at the 25. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. The Badgers want to crank the tempo. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Yeah. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Badgers. What Let's fucking go. go for the score. It's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. Fuck them up. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was. And he's running in the open. Yeah, they say we didn't get a lot done on the ground, and then immediately he breaks for a big run. Shots to him, man. Before the defense finally makes a stop. Well, that's why this running game can be so dynamic. This guy is special when he has the football in his hands. He can make people miss, he can run with power, and he also has speed. You saw it on that last play. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. A shot for the end zone. Mm. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. I can't even lie, that was good coverage. Got enough of the football there by the defender breaking on the football, getting his hand on. He couldn't bat it down, but he got a fingertip on it, tipped that thing away from the receiver, made the big a shot toward the end zone. Got it. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. On the one, you okay. We're talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at him. To the air. It's Hubbard. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Wisconsin. In my veins, baby. For these guys as they push out the lead in week six. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. They'll go to the ground. Yes. Get him, get him. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. And now y'all want to pass. Y'all feel a little bit more confident with me under center, huh? Fuck out of here. He wants to pass it on second down. Complete downfield. Brought down at the 45 after a 15-yard pickup. 
The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. I'm going to soak up this time, though. Oh, my goodness. From the gun, running back on the move. After the pickup of nine, Great, second man. and one. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They'll try the run. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. So far, everything's just seemed to work for this offense when they wanted to run the football. Regardless of what down and distance it is, they're able to get it done. Up front, getting a lot of push, and these backs Ooh, are finding the holes. Quarterback moving. Going to try to get it himself. How much does it help your blocking scheme to have a guy who finds the crease? He gets to the 39. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now He's so stiff, again. boy. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Keeps the legs moving. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Okay, ready? As we come give me that same play I just called, please. Has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not Georgia 1 and 2. One and two team would not be ranked. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. A one and two team is not going to be ranked. No way. That's some bullshit. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. To the ground with the back. Yeah, he gone. Finds a crease at the 20. Touchdown, Badger. And the... They'll run this play from the pistol. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. I only have four play changes. I don't want to all burn them right now. But I do want to throw the ball a little bit more before we wrap the game. Set up a good second down. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Gives him the big stiff arm. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. Really been impressed by the balance we've seen from this offense so far in the game, but I think you got to give a lot of the credit to the running game because it's been able to freeze these defenses, help set up play action. They've been physical at the point of attack. I think that really has been the key force for this offense so far, having the success they've had. They'll try it over the left side. Nice move there. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. And the Badgers come to the line with a new set of downs. Here we go. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Hand off from the shotgun. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. I would just like a little bit more flexibility with the play calling. The game. Like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And this is exactly where you want to be as an offensive coordinator. Like when you've got the lead the football game just run the football eat the clock man they put a good day together they, they they've had a they had their way with this defense a lot of positive things to point to this is one of those weeks when you watch tape it's going to be really fun to watch it not like when you get beat up a lot of big plays from this offense 
Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? Coming out on first down with the play fake. Shoots it to the left. Mm. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Power football with the run. No Gobbled up, run huh? On that he loses four on the carry. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. And it's incomplete on third down. And the offense comes up short on third down, but I tell you what, they've still had a good... I just wanted more passing plays, bro. We sensed a great I'm a quarterback. How could I not want to play, pass the damn ball? Whatever, man. Again, I haven't seen enough to keep me at Wisconsin. The, the play calling is mediocre. Mediocre. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. And there's that. And there's that. Week seven. Now we'll go ahead and save. And we'll go back over to Coach Brick to get him to week seven as well. We've got to do some recruiting, hit this game. Five hours. They gave me five whopping hours. Nobody's coming to the school, bro. Like. I can't even get enough recruiting hours to get anything consistently popping. team no frills just get the job done and get the win i love when you describe my teams like that just consistent you know methodical strong i don't have to do things special every single week all i'm supposed to do is get the w and that's what they did and this is why practice is so important guys you can tell that, that was a great run i can't even love. locked in way he was switching hands doing everything he needed to do 
They got good looks in practice. They knew what to anticipate. They knew what looks they were going to see. And when those looks presented themselves, boy, oh boy, did they ever take advantage. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This is... All right, so we got three games out of everybody. Yeah, I'm like, who is a better offensive player than him? Good shit. Good shit. Now we're actually getting into conference play, which we had not been. And you see our boy at the top of that Heisman list. Here's where we save it. And we'll return to Brick's house next week. So that is gonna be it for our um, All-American Gridiron episode six. Shout out to everybody who's been on the YouTube, um, giving love to the series. Shout out to everybody who's come through for the streams. Really do appreciate all of y'all. Um, Vontae was struggling earlier today, but I think we're going to get him right. I think we're going to get him right. Um, we really did. And I went extra games, Nits. <laughs> extra games. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with more Gridiron stuff next week, um, Saturday. Keep in mind that we've got the book club tomorrow, Sunday at 4. And um, I probably will... After book club, we'll read the three chapters, we'll talk about it, and then I'll start more Starfield.